What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages? Welcome to the internet. I'm Johnny Knoxville. I'm going to take... We're doing a vintage cube draft here today on Magic the... Magic the... The internet. Uh... Dot... Com. And, uh... Still no... Still no power, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're not getting... It's okay. We're not getting upset. Just doing a little cube arena. It's okay. All right. What are we taking here? Gristle Marenza, a powerful, powerful wizard. Um, he's not a wizard, Frank. He's a demon. No, you don't know how the lore works in the Hell Vault on the Industrad. Okay. I also like Umazaba's Jite. Yeah, I want to take Gristle Brand. That's a build around card, and I, I like building around Gristle Brand, so. Mindslaver Windmill? I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Oh, Baneslayer. A gris a gristle gr gristle daddy. That's not this is gristle daddy. This is not gristle daddy. A Gaia's cradle second pick is pretty good. I like that. I like that. I like Grave Titan. I do like Guy's Cradle, but snatch that Prego Zombie up. That is, whoo, that's a thing right there. I like Mask Worm a lot. I think it's just Massacre Room here. It could be Hissing Quagmire because we could get some sweet reanimation components. It could also be Shambling Vent because of the same reason. Worm is definitely not bad. Worm is actually Worm is actually one game so far. Like, I mean, if they have... Uh, it could just be Fatal Push, too. I'm going to take Fatal Push, and I'm going to assume that the Massacre Room comes back. Noxious G-Hulk. I actually don't hate Dark Ritual at this moment in time. I wish we got a Talarian Academy in our last artifact draft. That would have been sweet. But I don't think Noxious Gear Hulk is any better than what we have already. And I also would really rather have a spell that helps me cast these guys rather than another spell that needs to be cast. Yeah, I think, yeah, well, Massacre Arm surprisingly overperforms. Like, in the decks it's good against, it actually just wins you the game. Take the Sleepy Hand. I don't. I have no idea what that. Oh, the, <laughs> wow! No beats. You're killing it today, buddy. I'm gonna take ritual here. I'm not a big fan of ritual because let's be honest, it's card disadvantage. It's worse than Black Lotus, but it does let us cheat some things into play. So that's pretty cool. Shieldred, another thing that we can land tax is pretty okay. Are we just mono black? Cryptic Command really says be blue though. Cryptic Command says be blue. But it is the Vintage Cube, so maybe Cryptic Command's not as strong. Just want to be clear that we did say, uh... We did say Dark Ritual is worse than Black Lotus. I'm just going to take all these big black creatures and, and try to get some reanimation going. I mean, if we take all of these, um... It should heavily disincentivize people from taking the reanimation spells. Right? Right? I like Banishing Light. I don't like Painful Truths because this is probably... In, in our deck, the deck that we're building right now, it's probably not going to be more than two colors. I like... So I like Carry Added, but I also like Banishing Light because it lets us be black-white, which has Unburial Rights. Disc actually isn't terrible because we're probably not going to have that many early creatures. Written to Painful, that's pretty good, actually. I like to turn one Dark Ritual into Painful Truths, draw one card. I actually think the Nevin Rolls... I'm going to think the Sylvan Carry Added gives... Oh, alright. Makeshift Mannequin's pretty good. Yeah, Makeshift Mannequin's pretty good. 
I like Heroes Downfall a lot, but we we want a makeshift mannequin because like on cards like Gristlebrand or Grave Titan, it's actually you're just gaining. You're just you're just netting things. Like if they kill the Grave Titan, you still get two zombies. If they kill Gristlebrand, you still presumably draw seven cards. You guys think it was Downfall over mannequin in the deck where we have Grave Titan, Shieldred, and Gristlebrand already? I'm intrigued by your. Interesting. Pernicious Dude. Pernicious Dude seems very, very good. Especially in the black deck that may not have an abundance of ways to get rid of enchantments or artifacts. Go for the Throat's also good, but uh, I think in a deck like this, Pernicious Dude's probably going to shine. You think it's Go for the Throat over Pernicious Dude, too? All right, so one thing is clear is that we all have very different opinions right now, which is which is fine. Uh, Maze of it is interesting. Mannequin is one of the weaker removal spells, but it's or reanimate spells, but it's one of the reanimate spells in general. So, hey, I look, it's an answer for planeswalkers. Hey. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's better than Nature's Claim. That's an actual card we can play. Gruel Signet's just playable. Jund Reanimate. Okay. Green, Black Time, Braska, WoW, Green. That was good. Those are good messages, Axel. I appreciate those. Um, I'm going to take the Lantex just in case. And I'll take the Recruiter for the same reason. All right, last picks were Lightning Bolt, Lightning Strike, and we saw an Exquisite Firecraft and a Fire Confluence going very, very late. So I think red is open right now, but not for us, unfortunately. This is actually playable. We don't have to actually use the red component. If ever you have a Signet that's on color but only half, um, replace the color that's not in your color with a white colorless mana symbol and ask if you would still play that. Would you play a two-mana artifact that had one colorless, one red, um... I think you still would. I'm going to just not even... I don't even care what's in the rest of this pack, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take all the blue mana, and I'm going to play it. And we're going to play Soul Tire Animator, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're going to do. That's what... That's what we're going to do. The only other card in here that I even care about is Gonti. So... Actually, still not terrible. Plus, we also have someone carry out to cast it, so. Hold the drink up again. Oh, you mean the, the green screen drink? I'm just having a having a, a, a refreshing ancestral vision recall. You know what I'm saying. Uh, wasn't Rafellos greater than Gonti? Not in this deck, no. Um, we were never going to have uh, that many forests in this deck. It's probably just Mana Vault. Oh, I like a Verdant Catacombs. That lets us get Breeding Pool or Watery Grave. And again, this is a pack with not too much in it. So I'm going to take the Verdant Catacombs. It's pretty perfect for us. Buried Alive? What if we take on Burial Rites and Buried Alive comes back? That seems pretty good, right? Draw three. Ah. I'm pretty sure it's on Burial Rise here. The problem is getting into the graveyard and being able to cast it. Like, we have to have carry added to be able to effectively cast it. But uh, I don't think... I mean, it's still better than not having that, so... Orzhov Signet is actually perfect for... Uh, casting that on Burial Rites. It's pretty good. Gilded Lotus, also pretty good. At both Ancestor Recall and Burial Rites. I think I'd rather have the Signet here. Dark Slick Shores. It's not the bathe. Um, I don't, I'm not a big Shallow Grave fan, just because it's like a one-for-one. One. Like you, It's basically like Through the Breach for the Graveyard. 
and I don't really like exiling my creatures. I'm just gonna take the Dark Slick Shores. We're not we're not white, so I'm not gonna take O Ring. Like we're we're black green. We're splashing Orislav Sign just to activate Unbarrel Rights. We are we're definitely just taking Dark Slick Shores for the um, ancestral. I think the problem with Shallow Grave Hope for Emrakul is that we have to have a way to discard Emrakul at instant speed so that we can respond to it, or a, a way to discard Emrakul on our turn. Uh, so. And then we have to find a way to... Abrupt Decay seems pretty good. I'm liking Pernicious Deed less now that we have all these Signets and Mana Vaults. That's unfortunate. That's pretty good. That's probably the best land we could have asked for. I like Hostage Taker, but again, I'm not going to try to be blue here if we don't have to be. Ancestral Recall is more than good enough to splash. Throwing Wildwood. The Gonti came back. Actually, Gonti is great. Let's play Gonti on turn two with Orzov Signet. Yeah, that seems fantastic, actually. Uh, I don't think I hate Kite Self Freebooter here. Card's not great, but it's not terrible either. I do like a turn two Dark Ritual Gonti. Or we can go turn... Turn one, Dark Ritual, Mana Vault, Gonti. Or turn one, Mana Vault, Gonti. Turn one, Mana Vault, Dark Ritual, um, Entomb, Makeshift Mannequin. Does that work? Tap it for three. Use one of the three for Mana Vault. Tap the Mana Vault. That's five mana. One for Entomb, one for Makeshift Mannequin. Yeah, let's do that. So hope we get the Swamp, Ritual, Mana Vault, Makeshift Mannequin, Entomb Hand. That's what we want. Well, both of these guys came back. Just take Mesmeric Fiend. Buried Alive came back. That's pretty good. Okay. I don't think we're taking Abyss because we want to keep our creatures. Nickel Bolas is way off our colors. Buried Alive is actually pretty good here. I don't hate it. Just a non-league cube? What's the... What's the difference? Why is that why is that better? Nighthawk seems great. Just a solid dude to to get things going. Brain Maggot. All right, so we just have two Mesmeric Fiend effects and we have Kite Self Freebooter, so we have like three different two drops. I don't know. Being able to hate draft does not seem as relevant to me. Like, okay, so hate drafting in general is a pretty bad draft strategy because you're making everyone at the table's decks actively worse. And I can see why you feel like that would benefit you because you're making your opponent's decks worse, but you're also making your own deck worse because their signals are off. And then they're going to start having to take your cards instead uh, in future packs. So I think hate drafting is actually not a solid strategy. But, I mean, play, only playing the 8 in my pod, the benefit of that seems very minimal when I could lose round 1 and have terrible content. Like, it's just like, oh, well, you lost round 1. Alright, I guess we'll do another draft. And, you know, for one thing, it's monetarily bad, and then for two, it's entertainment bad. Because then, you know, when I post all the videos to YouTube, it's like, well, how come this video is only 12 minutes? <laughs> well, it's because they drafted and then lost in round 1. And it's the vintage cube, so literally anything can happen. So it's really weird. Oh, how'd you lose in round one? Oh, they had Tinker Blightsteel Colossus. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, it took me about six minutes. I could just not post on YouTube, but then I'm just wasting my own time, right? Like, I mean, that's easy to say when you're not making content. And um, I think it's actually Tropical Island, but I think it's actually Pack Rat. We have Shield Red and Grave Titan and Gristle Brand. I think it's Pack Rat. We already have Dark Ritual and Mana Vault. I think it's fine. Huh. Is Living Death good for... Tomb is great too, don't get me wrong, but... Is Living Death good for us? Huh. 
Huh. I feel like this is a living death deck, right? Like we just actually buried alive and then we living death. I'm gonna hope for the. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're doing it. Misty Rainforest seems great. We can get the Bayou. We can get an island. I also like Chupacabra here. Land might be better though. I feel like we can get more Chupacabra effects. Yeah, I agree. For the fun and content, the leagues are way better. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I think it's actually Misty Rainforest. I'm not super concerned with having a Chupacabra effect. If we get one, we get one. If not, that's fine. See, and there's Necrotal right here. Um, Crater Hoof is actually fascinating here. Like, we don't have to be a, a really wide creature deck. If we reanimate a Crater Hoof and we have a Grave Titan on board, they're basically dead, right? I don't actually think I care about Sanctum. We have Sylvan Carry added right now. Uh, we have Verdant Catacombs, Misty Rainforest, uh, and one Island and a Dark Slick Shores. We have five sources of blue already. I don't think we care about Botanical Sanctum. Besides, we want we want lands that can produce black. The problem with our Black Devotion is that it's not great unless we already have a bunch of black cards out, and by that point we don't actually need extra mana. I actually think it's almost Crater Hoof. I'm going to take the Necrotal. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't do Crater Hoof. So, like, by the time we want to start activating Nykthos to cast our things like these, the only things we can possibly have in play is one Gaunti or one Vampire Nighthawk, right? And at that point, if we have Gaunti in play... We're only adding two mana with a Nykthos anyway, which isn't terribly exciting. Like, you think it's a good Nykthos deck if we have, like, Grave Titan and Shieldred and Necrotal in play. That's cool. But the problem with that is we've already cast... We already have the mana at that point to cast all our big things. I feel like it's Dark Petition. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? I don't know. I don't know. He's... Uh, I don't think it's Smother's Call. We have eight creatures in our deck. And f four of them are like... Actually, five of them don't come down until... we And Song and, and Summon Carry Out can't actually crew it. Smuggler's Copter, these are the only two cards we can crew. <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's, it's worth looking at the big picture when you're drafting decks like this. So, I'm going to take Dark Petition. Oh, this actually seems very good. Yeah, this Liliana is very, very good. Returning a creature to the to the play. Yeah, that's actually fantastic for us. I'm really excited about that pick. I want to put the Gruul Signet in the... Ophiomancer is actually fantastic. That's a creature that holds the ground very, very well. I don't actually care about Bizarre here. Um, I don't like it because it doesn't tap. If we had Urborg, maybe. But when it gets... When it's good, it's great. Um, but when it's bad, it's terrible. And... We're never gonna we're never gonna play a blue trinket mage in this deck simply because we have a mana vault to grab, especially because we could draw the mana vault. Might be Deathrite Shaman here. That's also like a that's like a ramp spell, especially because we have two uh, fetch lands. We can also exile their creatures um, for living death, and alternatively, we're not gonna play Short Fang or Green Sun Zenith. So I'm gonna take the Gruul Signet out for now. Let's move these guys back so our curve doesn't look at. What? 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 I don't 
understand. I'm legitimately confused. Ten confusion bits. Nice. Nice. I take this Brontodon, but we actually don't have... We're not going to be able to have double green very reliably. I think it's just Awakening Zone here. Get in the zone! Awakening Zone! Look, we can take that Nykthos you guys wanted so, so badly. And Parallax Wave. Look at these red cards. I don't know why anyone's shocked you get Absurd Wheels in the queue. Well, because like, it's still shocking. That's why. Necro's terrible. 20 Confusion Bits. Oh, wow. There's a Confusion Bit War, guys. The Great Confusion Bit War of 2018. This deck seems like gas. Yeah, we're definitely not turn one dark ridding Necro. That seems absolutely terrible. That is not how Necro is meant to be played. Is it just, do we cut the dark petition? Ultimate price. I guess we can, we can actually probably cut fatal push here. We have living death. I'm actually surprised at how much I like buried alive here. One more reanimate spell? You don't think Living Death, Liliana, Unburial Rites, and Makeshift Mannequin is enough? Uh, I don't want to cut green because we actually have no incentive to do so. Frasca is very good, Song is good, Abrupt Decay is good, and Sylvan Carry Added are all very good. 30 Confusion Bits! Oh my god. How many times have you drafted Vintage Cube? Because I have yet to die on turn two. We've had very good interactive back and forth games so far in, in all my Vintage Cube experiences this time around. And it's, I've done, this is my fifth draft. So I think five reanimates is, is perfectly fine. We also have no incentive to cut them because all of our, like we have four fixing lands in the sideboard. Even if we add one forest, which we're probably not going to do, like we have plenty of green sources to, uh, to support our, our deck. So Uh, why don't I dig Necro? Necro is good in a time... So Necro is at its best, and it's most oppressive, when you could dump your hand with cards like Dark Ritual and Two Mana Knights and Duresses and things like that. You can actually play all the cards in your hand. You could pay seven life at the end of your turn and draw seven cards. So, um, in a deck like this, if you go turn one Dark Ritual land Necro, you still have four cards in hand. You draw three, um, and then you actually, you're stuck playing paying one land a turn... Um, you don't actually have a bunch of... You're playing one land and one card a turn. So, the Necro that you're playing in, in, a, in a cube like this is basically, like, pay two life a turn, draw two cards a turn. Not including... You don't get to your draw step anymore. So, I mean, it's just not good. Like, it's not efficient. It costs three black, so it's very mana intensive. And there's definitely situations where, like, your opponent can get you down to a certain life total. You don't want to have to pay life to draw your, your normal cards every turn. So... Anyway, that's why that's why I'm not a big fan of. Also, Dark Petition does count as a necro, uh, as a as a reanimate spell. So yeah, we have Living Death, Liliana, Dark Petition. Technically, Unbearer Rights is two. We have Makeshift Mannequin. Like this is five reanimation spells. I would I would even rather have more reanimation targets than reanimation spells here. But we do need one more cut. Um, I could probably cut Song of the Dryads, actually. We can board that in if we need it. And we'll bring in all these sweet lands. Dark Ritual is interesting. Is, um, is Necro a commander staple? I actually didn't know that. One of these. So we have one, two, three, four black sources. It's 12 black sources. Three, four, five, six green sources. Six green sources. I'll do seven 
just because I want to be able to cast Carry Added reliably on turn two. Uh, we don't need lands for the ramp. We, we actually want to remove their creatures from the graveyard for living death and want to remove their spells for things like... It's just a, it's good all around. You don't actually have to do the ramp to have death right shaman be good. This is eleven seven. Song can answer a turn a turn uh, turn three blight steel, but that's not that common. Like it's super not uncommon as you think it is. And also, uh, ultimate price is more versatile, in the sense that like there are going to be more creatures, and I don't want to actually ramp them. I don't want to give them a, another land, and ramp them to five if we play on like turn three or something. So we'll see. Also, Sarcastron, thank you so much for the forty confusion bits. Really appreciate it. Uh, will this ever be a commander brawl stream? Probably not. I'm not a huge fan of those. Maybe brawl I could see. That format seems a little fun. Um. Yeah, I've never seen I've never seen Necro in Commander decks. All right, this deck is interesting. I'm not sure how we're gonna fare. We have Mana Vault, Dark Ritual, Sylvan Carry added, and Ancient Tomb for ramping, so that's pretty cool. Apparently, the confusion bucks are all gone. Everybody's used up their confusion bucks this holiday season. I will play first. Ship it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make oh, Buried Alive into Makeshift Mannequin. Such deal. I played a Cooper Pony earlier today that had an Oath of Dryads deck where Blightsail Colossus was literally my creature. Yeah, I could see that. That doesn't tilt me because you, like, you, you crafted a cube deck. With Oath of Druids and Blightsteel Colossus and no other creatures. And that's just awesome to me. I'm going to keep this hand for show. I kind of like this Snake Man. I'll take Snake Man. This Snake Man's on fire. I don't know why I associate that with Alicia Keys, but whatever. You do what you got to do. I don't think he is on fire. I think you're right. I think that Ophiomancer is not on fire. I think that was a miss, uh, a miss, a miss observation on my part. Oh, starting with forty life makes it quite a bit better. That's a good point. That is a very good point. Forty life in commander makes Necropotence uh, significantly different. Oh, it's an Ophiomancer. Wow, who saw that coming? I'm gonna hold the Bayou in case they have like Wasteland. Uh, we don't need to be thrown out of Bayou just to get Wastelanded. Oh, a Selfless Spirit, eh? Are you ready? Oh, alright. Buried alive. Buried alive. Uh, let's get a Gristlebrand and a Grave Titan. Maybe a Gonti? Or we can just get these two. Everything else is fine to draw. Kevin okay, Frank, this might be a big fan. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I'm actually going to get the Gonti because I I don't want to draw the Gonti. I'd rather, I'd rather increase the odds of drawing a land at this point, so... What would it cost me for you to play my Bolus Brawl deck? I don't know, that sounds pretty sweet, but... I hate when people ask that because I want to be like, this is how much I charge you to do that. I like having, uh, I like being able to do stuff like that. But I do stream to support myself, so it's this really weird, uh, it's this really weird push and pull, right? Why do I, why do I have to draw this Shieldred? 
card, big fan. Oh my god, if they do something here, and then we can just go get Gristlebrand. Blah. I'll let this resolve so they can uh, put their card in the graveyard. She Aldred, she Aldred, she's only a dark red away. I love that we have the instant speed one. Makeshift Mannequin is one of the weaker ones in the game. Said the guys who don't have Gristlebrand in play right now. Target Titan. Bro, I got a Gristlebrand in play. They can't steal it, which is nice. So that's pretty cool. So, like, even if they kill it, you get to draw seven. That's the noise that it makes when I draw seven cards. What'd you get? Would you guys say you want me to do it again? All seven into the hand. That's how we do. Yeah, I do get those residual Seinfeld checks. I'll block. Are you going to sacrifice this guy? You're just going to let me gain seven life? They got some tricks going on. That's rude. I mean, I think we still draw seven here because we get to go up to five cards, right? So we draw two. And we get to keep the best ones. So, okay. I believe you. Oh, boom, boom, birdie, burr. Choose five cards in your hand. All right. Um, we have we have instant. We have uh, what do you call it for dark petition? I don't think we need lands. Actually, we can get rid of Ophiomancer. Oh no, this is what we keep. Oh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. What are we keeping here? We're keeping ancestral. We're keeping dark petition. I'll keep Shieldred, Ancient Tomb. You won't draw seven more? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Uh, I think I'm doing okay here. It might just be Deathrite Shaman. Yeah, I like Deathrite Shaman a lot here, actually. So we're going to go Shieldred, Ancient Tomb, Dark Petition, Ancestral Shaman. I like that. I will sacrifice old Grisly Bristle. I feel like our five cards are better. So we can actually go Ancient Tomb, Dark Petition, Deathrite Shaman. If we draw Dark Ritual, we can just play Shieldred, which is actually pretty insane. You know, like you do. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll unburial rights you tomorrow. It might just be Grave Titan now, actually, because that just gives us a lot of a lot of things to do. Grave Titan a day away. But do do do. So fingers crossed you don't have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. We have six mana anyway. So, they probably have Wrath of God. They're playing the blue-white deck. <sighs> and we still have on Burrow. It's in the graveyard. Death Rite Shaman gives us both blue and white at the moment. That's just fine. I should just find it, A's. Which means they don't have the other thing
Actually, I kind of like Vraska here. Oh, let's Vraska. Oh, we should have Vraska first and then attacked with Grave Titan. That would have been real good, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, I don't stop. I whenever I whenever I'm like, thanks for watching. See you later. I'm doing. I'm ending the YouTube video. I'm not actually stopping the stream. Also, it sucks that you didn't stay until the end. You just literally left when I said, "Okay, I'm done," and then you didn't like, you didn't listen to my closing remarks. That's really sad. That hurts my feelings. The three, four, five. Actually, we're one short for Vraska. I think we still get Vraska anyway, though, right? I forgive you. We can get through this. Get through it together. We can actually Liliana here. Let's do that. What you gonna do while Liliana on you? Boop. I feel like we're doing well. Our deck is cool. I don't actually want to put another dude into play, do I? It seems greedy. I'll just make a guy. Zombies for days. Like, we could put a Gristlebrand back into play. But Liliana then goes to two, so we're going to have to plus her at some point anyway. So I might as well do it now. It puts a lot of pressure on the board, so if they want to Wrath... Then we can get back Grave Titan or Gristlebrand and still have a three, a Liliana on three, so. There it is. Hey, Ray Days. They have to discard cards, too? Oh, this is great. Sure. Choose four lands. I'll choose one, two, three, four. Done. Oh, we get to actually keep a creature, huh? I'll keep the Deathrite Shaman. Seems fine. They did actually have Snapcaster Balance, which is kind of funny. And they have to discard two cards. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I'm only a day away. Choose a creature you control. I will choose Deathrite Shaman. So I have Liliana on six. I can literally just bring back Grave Titan. And you had to discard Brimaz and Jace. I'm going to be honest with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to play Shoulder it here. I mean, we're going to keep on plusing Liliana. We have no reason to not. Like, we can get a Grave Titan next turn. I mean, if they top deck like, uh, no, they, even if they top deck like a wrath effect, we still have Liliana to reanimate. We still have unburial rights in the graveyard. Like we still have ancestral in hand. The problem is we're running out of cards. So we have to kill them before they, we deck ourselves, but I think that should be fine. We also have death right to be able to exile cards. We could have actually done that last turn if we kept up death right shaman, but and they also have a swamp for our swamp walk, which is not nothing. Deck yourself and send a message. I like it. That was aggressive. Oof. I will actually... We're going to reanimate Gonti this turn. I like that. Dark Ritual, huh? I'm going to see what you're working with, sir. It's going to be four lands because they missed so many land drops. <gasps> wow, that's a good boy. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just going to ritual here. 
so five, one, two. Shield it again, take two more damage, unfortunately. Why are you just, yes, it okay. What's, I don't need to respond to my own spell in the stack. Put them all in the play. And attack you. I mean, we have 12 cards and we're at 10. They're at 20. They're essentially winning this game. If you look at uh, milling metrics and life total metrics. So, you know. Six mana. Frost Titan. Treachery Frost Titan. Uh, four powers should be illegal in one deck. China, well, let me see this deck. Okay, you got a Mox. Ancestral, Time Walk, okay. What's the fourth power? I only see three. Time Twister's not really power. Um, did they, they didn't do anything, okay. Honestly, Grave Titan's just a better threat at this point than... Gristlebrand. Gristlebrand does, however, get us life, but so does... Uh, so does a Deathrite Shaman. I couldn't think of his name for a second there. What's your name? Cryptic Command? Really? Really? This is amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, well. They're dead on board, so... No point in playing anything here. That's for sure. Should have activated Death Ray Shaman in response, I guess. That was pretty bad. So they drew a card with this. They drew a card with this. They still have three cards, though, which is not a tremendous amount of cards. Here we go. Here we go. Wiping the board. Toxic Deluge for six. Yep. All right. This is... I have one card? All right. I feel like we, we're getting somewhere now. Wow. That was actually... That was kind of comical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, let's return... I guess we're just going to return Shield Red because that returns the other things. I'll play this guy for the unburial rights. Cracking that, sure. Stop plussing Lily? I mean, if we didn't plus her, we couldn't actually reanimate children. Plus, we would have also just reanimated something into a into a toxic deluge last turn? I don't understand. <laughs> like you have to plus if you want to minus, man. That's just work. That's just work ethic. You gotta work hard if you wanna play hard. That's what I always say. Does he always say that? I don't know. That's frustrating. So they're gonna negative her. Yep. We have eight cards in our deck. Can we actually even Ancestral here? Probably not. That's pretty bad. It's only creature, right? White, two, three, four, unburial. Let's try again. We have five cards. I think we're actually just going to lose. They have two cards. They can't. Yep. All right. That is a thing, but we have we have the swamp of we have the walk of swamps. They put both on the bottom, so they were literally drawing they're just drawn off the top here. This is actually amazing. These top decks are Friggin' fantastic.
Uh, we didn't actually take Massacre Worm. But again, you can see how good it would be. This is unbelievable. Had to hit Oblivion Ring. That's so impressive to me. Okay, we have one card left. Yeah, this is just game. <laughs> um... Yeah, plusing Liliana definitely killed us, but um I don't know what what does dark ritual mean? Is there anything we can return that can win us next turn? No, because this is on three. Yep. Wow. That is impressive. Toxic Deluge into Cryptic Command into Mystic Confluence into Oblivion Ring into Elspeth like you got it Gristle plus Fires doesn't get it done they have Elspeth on three we have one card in our deck Gonti's not gonna do anything in that situation we're gonna definitely bring in these these tiny guys ultimate price seems pretty bad um Ophiomancer also another card we were super impressed with here I'm just gonna bring in Mesmeric Fiend and Kite Sail Freebooter. Actually, Brain Mag is probably just better than Freebooter, right? It's any card? Yeah, any non-land? Sure. Necrotal comes out. We'll bring in Freebooter again. If you enchant an Oblivion Ring with Song of the Dryads, does it just become a... Um, like, it, it gives the card back, right? Because it... Or does it? Because it says when it leaves the battlefield, it might just stay on the board as a stupid Oblivion Ring. Either way, I'm going to bring it in. We had we had Vraska. This hand is actually insanely good. Turn one death right into ancestral if if we don't hit a green. Fetch land here would be amazing as well. Well, dang it. We're going to try to hit a green here. We did not. We didn't hit any land at all. Oh, snap, they said. Uh... Yeah, we'll get in there. If we don't get in there, we're hoping that they play an instant or sorcery this turn. And uh, we can exile it, but I think the odds of that are low. What was the OP's win condition? Uh, our lack, the lack of cards in our deck. Well, yeah, we passed Rex Age, we passed Acidic Slime, probably. I mean, like, there's... Hmm. I guess we can just pack rat here. I'm not thrilled about it, though. Not like this. I 
actually pack rat seems fine whatever how long is vintage cube up I don't actually know through July 6th so a good amount of time 17 it's about three weeks cool choose five cards one two three four five done sacrifice all creatures done okay so next turn we can go mana vault on barrel rights if we hit a land I want to hit a land. Not like this. Either way, we'll see what you have here. We've seen 12 cards. We're bound to the third land at some point. Okay, this is your hand. Mana Drain, but you don't have a second blue. Don't have a second blue. Don't have a second blue. I'm just going to take... Hey, you don't have a black for that? Bribery is probably the scariest of these cards without a second blue in your hand. Because we still have Grave Titan in the deck. And they just get to go balance next turn. Bribery next turn. I don't care about Jace Architect of Thought. Manager encounters one thing. Toxic Deluge is cute, but I think you're... So you have three cards. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's pretty good. Discarded a Jace and a Selfless Spirit. One time land. I don't ask for a lot here. Apparently I do. Apparently I ask for a tremendous, tremendous amount in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> good. Dr. Funkberger, thanks. Way to, way to go, buddy. I was going to thank you, but that's not how that works. Way to go, buddy. Thank you for being distracted. I'm currently in the ER because of an infection, so I need to keep my mind off it. Oh, God, that seems terrible, dude. Recif, I hope you're doing okay, buddy. Oh, they got their manager in mana. How, how perfect. I was able to play this, and the next very next turn, I'm going to be on burial rights thing, but then they drew the... The exact island they needed to prevent us from doing such things. They still have Deluge Mana Drain and one other card in hand, so not... Not tremendously... But fashionably late to the party. Pretty sure we're just going to run out of Barrow Rights. Or no, uh, Nighthawk here. Nighthawk City. I'll mana drain your Nighthawk, you. Alright. Resolves. Oh my god, these Mana Vault triggers are so ridiculous, dude. No one cares! What's a Mike B land? Oh, no Mike B, no land stream. Wow, that's messed up. I thought you said no, no Mike B land stream. I missed a no in there. Deluge for two. Bribery right now. I don't hate that as much because now we don't they don't have deluge. They don't have bribery, so they get to mana drain. But they don't have that up, so they have one other card in their hand. And we get to go on barrel rights. They're gonna take Grave Daddy. But we get to go Shieldred. Which if she survives one turn. Yep. So we know they have mana drain, that's the only card we know they have. I've been waiting this whole stream for the point Dexter voice. Fantastic. I don't I'm still not gonna pay for the I'm 
I'm going to tap my lands and play Living Death. Your move. Oh! Let's take your one answer. Let's see what it is. Treachery! I will take the treachery, my friend. <laughs> that would have been a good answer, too. There we are. Do we want to draw seven here? I'm pretty sure we do. We want to hit lands, so. Bayou. Born on the bayou. I'm gonna be a big bayou. Skibbity doo dum. We're just gonna play Sylvan Carry Added here. We can play one of these, but I don't care about your your man your mana drain. For obvious reasons. Oh, discard until we have seven, huh? I can get buried alive out of here. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of the swamp now. Now you gotta get rid of your, your selfless spirit, my friend. Uh, if they so the only thing that gets them out of this situation is something like a um, a wrath of God effect, right? A snapcaster and a toxic deluge. So if they end up doing that, I don't want to lose these guys as well. Getting the mana drain is just doesn't do anything for us except for puts us in. It just throws away another creature to the answer that they have to have. Does that make sense? Well, that was a thing. Vintage cube is. That's awesome, dude. Can you even be mad at that? Like, that's at a point where you're just like, well, I can't even be upset with that. OP did say, oh, Billy. Rock Lobster. I don't know if we want anything else from the sideboard. Like, they don't have a ton of creatures. I think we're good. Man, Living Death was fantastic there. Uh, am I sure you wouldn't be upset about OP ripping Living Death? I mean... It would be frustrating, but it's happened to me enough times where I'm just like, that's magic. That's cube, man. I will keep this hand. We're going to go turn one Signet into turn two Liliana. Or turn three Liliana, I guess. Dang, still can't turn. I get upset when it's too nice outside. I can get upset about anything. That's probably true. This is basically power, right? Three, three, three mana on turn one. Three, 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 three mana. One, two, three, four mana. Can't play Vampire Nighthawk and Deathrite Shaman, unfortunately. Um, it might just be Deathrite Shaman here. We don't have to take damage from that. Yeah, we're just going to play Deathrite Shaman here. A misclick shock? What was our misclick shock? What? Look at that fat king. The king of the cats. Fat king of the cats. It's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Oh, that's a good one. That's one of my favorites. We could Liliana, but then we just, like, chump block. She goes down. Burmaz is actually surprisingly good. I think we crack this. Get a Bayou. And we'll 
we'll play carry added play with the black play carry added so we need green black 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 we don't actually have enough for we wouldn't have had enough for vampire nighthawk and all three of these guys one two three four five six we can play shielder next turn though which is pretty good Also, the nice thing about Brimaz here is that if this Shielder resolves, um, they have to sacrifice Brimaz because they just we just ate their kitty cat. And if it doesn't resolve, then we can Liliana to try to help it resolve. Oh, look at, that. Look at this Mana Drain mana. That's not Mana Drain mana at all. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. This is five and three. I mean, that could be actually pretty good. We can gristle brand for living death. <laughs> does Mike B have a Twitter? He does. I don't know his Twitter name though. Like off the top of my head, I know it. I just don't know. Like, like if we just play shoulders, she just kills it, right? Boy, let's talk about Masquerum again because I still think that card is insane, and everyone's like, "It's not very good." It's very good. It's very very good. Uh, let's put Gristlebrand, Grave Titan. And probably a Mesmeric Fiend. Black, blue, green, ancient tomb, Liliana. Let's get back Gristlebrand. Two scoops ahead. Do we play land this turn? Yes, we play a swamp. Okay, so we can wait. Of course, if they have treachery, it's pretty bad. But they also have land. They have to have land treachery in our four cards, which is not. Paradox CNC in Fargo, North Dakota. Congrats on 25 years. Game storms are, are tough work. That's a good amount of time. Hopefully, you guys have another 25,000 years incoming. That's what I'm. Are we just dead? We just killed ourselves by drawing a million? Oh, well. <laughs> so I, don't, I didn't even look at our life total. I was just like, we can deal it. We can take it. It's totally fine. What would we have drawn? We would have drawn Forest. So, and Liliana, and, and this goes up. Um, this is going to be a hard game to win. You can't draw here. You did try to tell me that. The, I mean, the problem is they're going to have three, four, five, six, seven guys. They're having seven damage they attack. So they attack us down to five anyway. Two of them can go to Liliana, so they attack us down to seven. Uh, and then next turn, Liliana, Elspeth's on six, right? So no matter what we play... Even if we block here, we're still taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so we go to one. So, I mean, not really long for this world, unfortunately. But either way, game still deck still seems sweet. Mm. I actually put a, if I, I think we should have gotten Grave Titan back there actually because they can minus Elspeth but it's not nearly as good so they would have had to fetters the Grave Titan and then we would have still had um, that sounds so much louder than it should 
And we would have still had uh, two blockers. Yeah, this seems okay. Do I want this blue mana? No. It's funny because we got rid of the blue, so I'm sure that there's going to be an Ancestral Recall on the very top. Yeah, I think getting Gristlebrand was the problem there. We should have gotten Grave Titan, but... That Living Death play made it all worthwhile. <laughs> oh, Lotus Cobra? Real mature, buddy. Real mature. Well, that was a pretty good draw. It is, it's real easy to be gristle blinded. It's true. You're just like, well, this guy lets me draw seven cards. That's a good amount. That's a good amount of cards. Do, 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 do. How about Lotus No Bra? That's uh that's definitely possible. Uh unfortunately we only have the Grave Titan to rat. I'd rather just wait till we have five so we can go rat and then activate on the same turn. But I'm going to F6 here. We have no real responses. That's a good one. That's a good dude. Packums, McRackums. I love your band. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't want to attack with this guy. That seems like bad. That seems like bad. The Frank Laporte story. Corsair of Crufix, land off the top. Virtuous Gear Hulk. This is why I keep trying to tell people that Elvish Visionary is better than Gristlebrand. The cards are free, no life payment. That's a good point. It's a solid point. Our opponent's like, bro, you could have just cast that next turn. Yeah, you're right. We're just playing a land here because this. Uh, 
I feel like this is not a, a common card to be playing around, right? So we know you have gear. Oh, wow. Cradle. Cradle's pretty good. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. You can also go one, two, three, four, five. Play Virtuous Gear Hulk, add four. For nine mana, shoot a pack rat. Why not swing with the real rat? Because we'll probably just block. I'd rather have a blocker in case they attack with a bunch of guys that are huge from Virtuous Gear Hulk. Seven mana. They have five cards in hand, too. That's a good amount. They might just kill both rats. Yeah, they're going to go three. Is it dealt, is it divided evenly? No. Oh, divided as you choose. Yeah, so they're just going to go two and one. Attack for five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, we can just discard the last card, though. Doesn't that make that really bad? Okay, they're just killing one. Yeah, that seems better because then, yeah, then we can't discard the card. That seems fine. I'm pretty sure we're just going to actually uh, living death here. Well, I have no incentive not to block. Definitely not trading with Cobra here. So we only get back Grave Grave Titan Pack Rat, but that's actually pretty good. I'm tempted to just pass and keep up Nighthawk and just block. That seems good, right? How greedy are we gonna be? Blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for the sub. Three months in a row. Welcome back. If you pass, he gets to get back a creature? What does that mean? Do carry added too? What is that? What are you guys saying right now? <laughs> None of these things make any sense. Yeah, if they block you to get the creature back. We're not gonna We're not gonna play carry added. I mean saging the signet doesn't do anything really. Thank you. So Spencer with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. If we block Lotus Cobra with the Nighthawk, then not only do we lose our Nighthawk when it dies, they get back their Lotus Cobra. That seems worse, right? And then, I mean, we get back carry added, but... Spencer, I assume you haven't been a sub this whole time because you have not... You have been busy with your real life, buddy. So we know they have Gear Hulk and Sage in hand. Sage, Gear Hulk... We also turned off their Cradle, which is pretty sweet when we have Grave Titan on board. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't need that anyway. I got a Sylvan Carry added in hand. Uh, round one, we went one-two. We lost to our own Gristlebrand. That's good, but we have mono black creatures right now. We can just easily discard Dark Ritual here. Although it does turn on all our 7 mana creatures like uh, Shieldred, etc. I don't really want to block here. 
Oh, I didn't know you popped on a lot. Spencer, you should just say something, buddy. Guess you'll take 10 here? That seems good. Thank you. I make dance. Thank you so much. Four months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. It's a good sub train we got here, guys. I'm just a sub train. Nobody but me. That's sub train, but to the tune of Love Machine. Wow, that was that worked out well. Okay. Pernicious D actually seems like it could be pretty good. Fatal Push also probably coming in here. I think Deed's probably pretty good. It does kill our carry added and our signet. It kill I hate I hate that it kills your things too. I hate it. I don't think we need it. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna decline on the pernicious deed. Veto the Dido. That's what we're doing. No one talks like that. This hand is unfortunately not keepable. The way you pronounce that is so weird. Wait, what? The way I pronounce what? Huh. I'll keep that. That's keepable. We can search for Ancestral Recall. How about Mana Crypt? Mana Vault. Vaults and Crypts? <laughs> oh, man. Good times. This hand if I is terrible, but if I draw straight lands for three... <laughs> Live that dream, buddy. So... Like you do. One, two, three, four, five. This is a Grave Titan situation. Being a 23-year-old male who for lunch is having a beer and a Lunchable seems like the peak of a... Ah, to be young and Lunchabled. Just don't be a Corsair of Crew Fix. Okay. Okay. That's fine. No haste, guys. No creatures on board. Not a fan of what's happening right now. Fatal push into Dark Petition. Unfortunately, that won't be Spell Mastery because we don't have... The only difference five years later seems to be that I can no longer afford Lunchables. Good lord. Oh, I love the socio-political commentary in the in the chat. It's very nice. I'm gonna give him the old, the old shock eyes. Shock eyes. Sh -sh -sh -shock eyes. All right, so missed the land there <laughs> and the creature, by the way. All right, so fetch land. Ooh. Bravo! Good sir. I'm just gonna go island here, and next turn we're gonna we're gonna try to abrupt decay. If we abrupt decay, maybe we can fatal push two. Uh, I don't know if the vintage cube is more like legacy cube. I don't know actually. I'd have to look at the chains change changes. Ch -ch changes turn and abrupt decay. Ch -ch changes. I'm gonna play a gristle brand next turn, yeah. Could have dark petitioned this turn, but it means we don't have to do anything till next turn anyway, so we might as well just play Grave Titan next turn and then dark petition for when we need it. Oh wait, I gotta land. I got this. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, 
hope you know I literally laughed out loud at that. Literally laughed out loud. This guy is cr I think the best part about magic is that it really lets us glimpse our own humanity a lot of times. You really get a good look at the, uh, the internal workings of the human spirit. And that's really what I'm here for. It was a greedy keep. I had three lands in hand. I was hoping for a fourth. I was joking about needing the top deck all. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, look at this little creature. That'll do. That's rude. You think that's how he wants to live his life? It's not. Don't you ever. Don't you ever try to... Don't you ever turn my grave titan into a forest? How dare you! Oh, that seems good. <laughs> Our opponent's fantastic. We're having a good time. Well, now he's just mad. The cable guy's 22 years old today? That's funny, because someone made an O Billy reference earlier. Oh, Billy. Well, now I furl old. Oh, those old fingers aren't hitting the keys correctly. That's sad. Your old, your old fingers are messing up on the keypad, you see. Yeah, I'll allow this. I got Zomboys. This is going to be so sad. I don't even know if I have the heart to do it. She has protection from all but black. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, Noble Hierarch. This feels so bad, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, I still have some outs. Well, this is lethal on board. But um, dump. Oh, I misclicked. <laughs> oh darn, I misclicked and gave you an extra turn. Okay, the blow. <laughs> See, this is a good time. We're having a good this is a good game of magic right here. I'm having I'm having fun. I'm pretty sure we're going to dark petition here for something fancy. Maybe a dark ritual just so we can play Gristlebrand next turn. I 
Actually, I like Ancestral Recall here. That's pretty funny. So now we can go Gonti and still keep up Ancestral. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh! Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, let me do this. Okay, please don't concede. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can just resolve this crater hope with this on board. I just want to see. Let's see it happen. Why would I concede? I still have outs. Oh, touche, touche. I'm a fingernail off. <laughs> oh man, our opponent is good. This is good stuff, man. Okay, that's, that's actually pretty good. That's actually uh, pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna ancestral ourselves here just so we don't uh, miss a land drop. What if we miss one anyway? I'll be so sad. We got four draws to the land. Okay, three lands off of ancestral is is good enough. This guy seems greedy. That it was greedy, actually. He's not. He's not wrong. Let's see how much this is. I'm curious. I made two other guys. <laughs> hey, what about us? Don't forget about me. You can still block. You don't have regenerate mana, unfortunately, though. So. Oh, 104. Jeez. Oh, that's gasoline, dude. That's fantastic. Magic is a hell of a fun game. Dang, I was going to say GG's and all that. Look at this look at this clunker any land in this hand is actually good so and carried into ancestral we're on the play though we can do better this is not better if we can draw pack rat into no, nope, you. Into I don't know something else that's not that's not pack right. We're gonna get uh, Bayou, so we're gonna use this to get the Bayou, and then we'll use the Misty Rainforest to get the island if we need it. Born on the bayou. I think our hand just got a lot better. I don't know why I cracked this now, but it's all good. It's all good. So this is f five mana next turn. Okay, okay. 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 Our opponent's name is I Kill for Booze. That's pretty funny. Also sad, but funny. It's a cry for help if I ever heard one. Hmm. Get demoed. <laughs> Our opponent just demoed us. What's that? 
Oh, you know, it's that one card that Robert's playgroup plays a lot. Oh, yeah, demo? Yeah, yeah, you demo. Is that I'm, I'm going to go demo. No, it's when you work at Best Buy and you got to show off a product, you demo it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Now I understand. Yeah, it's totally, it makes total sense. Wow, just a chart, a, just a the main phase mm -hmm. chart, of course, without any creatures. That's a thing. Look at, look at all these things you got to move. I mean, it's like one thing. Look at all these one things you got to move. Torbird Ram, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to actually crack this, maybe. Probably not. We'll just pass here. I don't even care. What is it, some cube? Yeah, man, Vintage Cube's up. You I didn't know? even know. You didn't tell me? This is the biggest betrayal. I'm out of here. Didn't I? <laughs> Top 10 anime betrayals. <laughs> Man, I would have been I would have been coming every day if I knew that. Well, it just started yesterday, so you're good. Oh, okay. All right. I forgive you. Oh man. <laughs> I thought I told you at like dinner. No. Are you I sure? I didn't eat dinner last night. It was like no. I thought I said at the Tijuana Flats. We went to the we went to the flats. It's possible. I, don't I often it. don't pay attention, so. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Top ten anime betrayals, guys. Do they? No, they haven't missed the land drop. We just actually grave we grave tightened on four. That's pretty good. Yeah, last round was pretty good. You messed up, hey, Aaron. Are you gonna just kill this guy? You gonna ultimate price my grave titan? That'd be rude. That's fine. I'll allow it. Does he have that card? I don't know. This is this is game oh, one. Okay. I see. Oh, you just got that, huh? Just cash. Well, well, at least he only gets it for a turn. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess that's. I guess there's always that. Draw. That's the turn where he wins the game. Though. Draw your seven. There you go. Draw seven more. Go for it. Just I go to nine. fourteen more. Then I don't just know. Go, if you just go to nineteen. No big deal. Nineteen cards. They're thinking about it. They're like, do I like these twelve cards? Can I form a reasonable hand out of them? Probably. Can not. I win with these twelve cards? I like the stash. You should grow your beard as long as you can and let the stream decide how to get it cut. Wow. It's a decent idea. Really? Yeah. Let, your, let the stream decide anything about fashion? That seems like a torture. Just the beard. What, what's the worst they can do? Fu Manchu? I'd rock that for a little while. I would. Yeah, that seems good. I think you should Plus do that. Plus, this works out because it takes a really long time for my beard to grow, so. So you got time to wait anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. There's I think no the rush. the longest my beard has ever been is like five inches. Five inches? Maybe a little longer. Oh my god, they did. They drew seven more. They're at 11 and they have 19 cards in hand. Well, technically they're almost dead on board. I guess that's pretty good because, you know, it's basically free. You got any giant grows in your deck? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Just wondering. That'd be, that'd be sweet, though. Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh. So we just kill you now, right? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Let's see, you just block here, you take 79, 10, 11. Wow. Exaxes, too. If we ever had to illustrate how show and tell is the biggest trap ever, uh, I if think... If you didn't show and tell, we'd be in a... I think we'd actually be in a pretty bad spot. I think, yeah. Well, I mean, we'd have Grave Titan, but they would have, like, a million cards sure in they hand. have an answer to it, yeah. Yeah, they had a duplicate right here. Like, they could have just played that next turn. They'd get a 6-6, six, six, we'd have a bunch of Zomboys. Um, what can we get with a dark petition? Probably nothing. Why would we get anything? Just kill him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna draw. S well, is there any like free spell that they could possibly have? I don't really uh, think slaughter so. Slaughter Pact is non-black, so it doesn't work. Yeah, you're right. I don't think there's a card in magic that works here. All right, you can block my Grave Titan, then you take exactly eleven because you got greedy and drew nineteen cards. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, that's phenomenal. Jeez, Louises. Yeah, and they use Gitaxi Probe, so they knew we had... Didn't they know we have Gristlebrand in hand? Oh, really? Then that's definitely a mess up. That was a... F f Maybe you didn't have the demon in hand at the time? Even then, that's... Also, if you have show and tell, don't you wait to probe until you know? You can be like, probe, okay, now I know my show and tell's good. But they actually probed and realized it wasn't good and still show and telled. Man. That is just terrible. <laughs> like the layers of. I want to bring this Song of the Dryads in. That card's actually pretty good. 
That's good on a Blightsteel Colossus or a Gristlebrand if they have a... Unfortunately, oh. This hand's great against if they have Show and Tell. <laughs> oh, I'm going to ship it, though. It's not good against any other situation. Oh, this is a little better, I guess. Maybe we just win with Pack Rats. Have you ever played Pack Rat? I have. I've won many it's a match with Pack Rat. It is a powerful wizard. I cannot believe they drew 14 cards and then killed themselves because they let us play Gristlebrand. I think I've watched some of your stuff. Oh, wow. First turn, bizarre. Okay. So, some shenanigans are happening here. Yeah, that card is always never fun. All right. This guy. You're never fun. Wow. Got him. How rude, man. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, man. How do you feel about ordering some Hungry Howies later? Wow, some Hungry Howies? Yeah. What in the earth? They're going to regenerate progenitus? It's pretty good. Did they put this in the graveyard and then it had to get shuffled back in? That's interesting. Oh, it shuffles back in? Yeah, if you oh, put yeah. it in the graveyard from anywhere, you shuffle it in its owner's library. Hmm. It's too, it's too pure for this world. I'm going to pack rat in case they have like living death here. Because then we can just start discarding these idiots. And maybe this guy just wins on its own. Wow, they're getting real... They're getting real aggressive here. Whoa. Una's Prowler and Putrid Imp. So I assume they're going to play something this turn. That reanimates like an animate dead. Because they've gone through a million cards? No? Hmm. I'm intrigued. Oh, that's a good draw. How do you feel about Hungry Howie's, said Michael. I'll do one better. It's on me. What? Yeah. How does that work? I pay for it. It's my first time trying out anime style, so it's a bit shaky. <laughs> I'll pay for it. Wow, that was a, that's pretty good. It's, I mean, that's, I don't know how else to explain it, really. I don't, it's, it's really quite simple. Do we make another rat? I feel like we make another rat here. We don't got to make it now. Or is it still in combat? Well, it's still in combat. Okay, then make a rat. All right, man. I don't need you to yell at me. Discard that grizzle daddy. Well, I was, if they have show and tell, I'd rather put this into play. But maybe I'd just rather put shoulder into play. But if they have a card, is there any... Like, reanimate dead targets are Gristlebrand, too. Um, you could put carry it in the graveyard. I guess so. Pronunciation for dummies. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I kind of wanted to wait just to see what they do. Um, oh, so, man. They can't beat these 4-4s. Four but five, if five, they play, six, like, six, Exhum, six. I'd rather have something big in the graveyard. Oh, sure. But if they have um, show and tell, I'd rather have the big thing in hand. So it's kind of like... they got to have something soothed. They're... They're down to three cards, so... Do they not have the reanimation and they're just digging for it? I would imagine so. Otherwise, they probably would have brought back Iona last Unless time. Unless they have uh, Necro, which is three mana. Necromancy? Yeah. They could also have, like, Makeshift Mannequin or something. So are they have Iona? Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, if they play... I yeah, but if they play Iona, they're going to name mm. Black, and mm. then we just Song of the Dryads it, which is pretty fine. Oh, True. Pronunciation for dummies, did I say thank you? I forgot. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank Four months did. in a row. Either way, I'm say it again. Say it again. All right, let's keep getting in there. Now I want to discard. Uh, we can wait, actually. Because this time we'll stick to the plan. If they have Exhum, I want to be able to choose something good. Okay. We, we can, can actually make them three threes, four fours, four eight twelve. No, they still live. We can deal them a lot though. I feel like we just actually turned this into a thing. Oh yeah, it's any target. And then they're dead on board. Yeah, I doubt their last cards for animation spell. 
Well, even if it is, they get back Iona. So, like, and then, like, they go to With five here. Yeah. Um, so they have to block two of these, and we can also just make another pack rat, so. Pack rat, a balanced card. This is a vintage cube, just still loses the pack rat sometimes. My god. You did, but I like being thanked. Okay, well, that's good. I got you, fam. I don't I don't know what he's doing right now. See the bad thing about this is if they bizarre right now, they actually discard their whole hand. So let's see what they got. Bitch is show and tell. Interesting. They probably have no creatures in hand to use it with. I mean, even if they get back Sundering Titan, like, okay, we, we lose these, you lose this. You block here, you take six. You get back duplicate, you can get rid of this guy and still block here. Which is actually not bad, but I think you... What do you get if you duplicate one of these rats? Alright, that's probably the best thing you could have done. See, now I feel bad. Yeah. Yep, feels bad. <laughs> okay. Didn't know they would have had Living Death. I guess that was the one card we didn't play around. Man, we should have learned our lesson from before. You always play around Living Death. Oh my god, you always play around Living Death in the... What was that, Iconic Masters or Masters 25? Masters 25, right? Well, that's a... It's a hell of a thing right there. Yeah, we're gonna go to the next game. Well, for those who wanted to know what I was humming, it was the chorus to Fear of the Dark by Iron Maiden. Don't you Fear of the Dark? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, think about it. Okay. I don't think I'd abrupt decay, actually. I don't think they have any targets for that. We're going to bring in, like... Oh, we have our own living death. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we know it's probably more important to have most creatures in the graveyard. <coughs> Blah. Blah. Let's take a Necrotal, too. Blah. That guy doesn't kill many things. Bring in a Mesmeric Fiend. You can't be mad about it? I'm not, Donald, I'm not mad at all. Like, the thing is, we had many ways to play around that. We could have played slower. We could have planned around things like that. It's nobody's fault but my own there. Mike B, can you <clears> please <throat> hum some Bruno Mars? I'm in a pop sort of mood day. I don't really know much Bruno Mars, and I ain't your sing daddy. You're everybody's sing daddy. Sing daddy. That's awkward. Turn on Ophiomancer, is that any good? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know um, if that's worth it. Maybe it is? I don't know. It's like three damage. Like three, three, three. Their deck is not very fast. I think it's actually good. I don't know how else we're using Dark Ritual in this hand anyway. Right, that's what like, I mean. We're not going to get to Shieldred, probably. What is this? What are you doing? It's your turn to play with nothing in the graveyard. Chart, of course. Okay. That's good. Actually, Chart, of course, is actually pretty reasonable because it lets you discard a big, fat idiot. And like, it's cheap. Like a duplicate. I'm not super scared of a duplicate. Actually, I think it's just Deathrite Shaman here. Deathrite Shaman seems insane. He seems pretty good against the reanimator deck. Of course, if they can kill it right now, it's bad. But we haven't seen any reanimation spell. Okay, I haven't seen a lot of removal either. Yeah, that's the thing. And Oop. here's a turn where they just reanimate this time. Animate dead. Nope. Just lightning greaves. They're setting up. Setting them up, boys. I'm going to play Mana Vault. Attack for three. Leave up ultimate price. Yeah, if they if they show and tell, we get Shieldred, and we can block with uh, we can block with Deathrite Shaman if they have Dark Blight Steel Colossus. Dark Blight Steel Colossus. They also only have two mana, so that's not really a concern. 
Dark Blightsteel. He's got double poison. I can be mad about it. I'm mad about it. Sing me a song. Sing daddy what about what I'm mad about. <laughs> Uh, can Mike do a good point, Dexter? I don't know, actually. Am I expected to do that now? Yeah, man. Let's see it. Isn't that like the Urkel? Same thing, right? Yeah, man. It's the nerd Boo. boys. My name is Boo Joey Bagels. Boo. <laughs> Joey Bagels doesn't sound like a very nerd name. Well, you'd be surprised. Oh, wow. A dominating cube draft for my two favorite internet personalities, Beans and Cornbread. Oh, they discarded Iona and Sundering Titan. They are so far away from uh, living death mana, though. Brain maggot. Annoying, but... I mean, that's fine. You take the ultimate price, <clears throat> we still have shoulder in hand. I'm just going to start exiling the cards I care about out of your graveyard. We also have six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we draw any land... Um, do you want to equip the Greaves there? Exile a creature. What am I most afraid of? Probably Duplicant. <clears throat> that is not a card I want you to get back. Uh, you okay? A little fly land on my nose. Yeah, dude, I know. They're miserable. <laughs> That's a land. That's a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can keep this guy up if we want to. But then if they living death, it's scary. So that's the other thing. Like, we just have to play around the stupid living death. Do you even play this? I don't think so, because we want to keep up exile. Well, we can still. We can use this and this, and we keep up the exile. Oh. Then do it. Yeah, living death is scary, but they're still two mana away from living death, so... They're also at nine. Did your golden pig just expire? Probably. Maybe you should keep up on it. Keep up on your golden pig. Look with your golden pig. No double black? We have death right, Shaman. They have multiple lands in the graveyard. Come on, get your life together, no beats. Another two lands and a gift sun given. They have one card in hand. So if they have Living Death, they can't cast it. If they have land, they've conceded. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was pretty sweet. Check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description. Check out my Twitch profile. Link is in the description. Smash the like and subscribe buttons. Merch in bio. Hit that bell. I'll see you. Hit that bell to get notifications <laughs> whenever your new video goes up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.